the Forge is the UK's first carbon neutral build. It's a really exciting time to be a part of that as it's obviously a new way of manufacturing, a new way of construction. Before we just did traditional modular builds of the plant rooms and risers, but this time we're looking at the Cate fit out and how we can implement the modular designs that we've learned previously and implement it onto a new building. From very early on, uh, we got involved with uh, the designers, a company called Bride and Wood, and they put together the, uh, the M&E scheme for the client land security. So it's very key from an early, early stage to get involved with those guys and understand what it, what it was they were after. Uh, and then working closely with MAM, uh, making sure that other contractors are able to facilitate that and we facilitate other contractors is also key to making sure that we're on program, on target for cost and everything like that. So our off-site facilities have been a key part of this project and that has also enabled uh, us to reduce a lot of labour on site and make it safer for our workforce. Obviously a help towards the carbon neutral build. DFMA is designed for manufacturer approach and we as NG Bailey have been doing that for a long time, over 20 years at our off-site manufacturing facilities. And now we've been able to include this in a project from design period to include the CATE modules, which is something that we've not really done before. So it's great to see how far we've learned in previous years and how far we can bring it to the future. On the CATE floors, they wanted to go for like a modularized option and then all the electrical risers, uh, they wanted those to be modularized. So they left a, an opening out on the roof so that the, the modules could be lowered down via the tower crane, one by one sort of stacked up through to the top. So we have a modular plant room coming in on the Block B roof. It's an electrical plant room that's going to, going to arrive. So they'd come down from Bailey offsite on the back of the lorry down to London and then get picked up by the tower crane and then sort of lowered down into their, into their final resting place. And it's great to see it's one of our many modular plant rooms that we're going to get delivered to site, um, both mechanical and electrical. The detail was absolutely key, like the, the tolerances were really tight on the risers and we were lowering down two levels at a time. We've got the last few to arrive with the risers as well, so we're, we're not too far away finishing the modular um, aspect of the build. So any project in London is going to be very challenging logistically and this project is no different. We only have one access to site and that obviously comes with its challenges. And getting deliveries in is very difficult so you, you have to book them in 48 hours in advance and there's a tiny little little road to Sumner Street. You're very limited to, to like the size of the vehicles that you can get in and the types of vehicles. And on top of that we also have residential properties just right outside of the premises and that means that we have to have quiet times and, and noisy times on site to accommodate the residents that are just across the road. The uh, PC date for this project is December 2022. All of the building will be finished and will be handed over to the client. We can then build on this going forward. I was really excited to go on this job. Obviously, environmentally, net carbon zero, that's, that's a great thing that everyone's aspiring to at the moment. And to be a part of that is really inspiring to obviously me and hopefully lots of others to push yourself to do a little bit more every day or even in every project to get the most out of you and the world.